Noah and Noah and Pedro for your patience. Um, so I'm going to turn the mic over to Sister Coral or Sister Elsie Rose. Thank you. Uh, what a blessing it is to be here to celebrate this great occasion. And whereas I'm not giving the history of the church, I'm just giving up to when we started focusing on paying the church off. So I'll just tell you this. In the beginning where we were having our service was at what is now Tatum Hall. So we outgrew this and after that we had a decision to make. Did we want to tear out the walls or were we going to build a church? So we decided we are going to build. And so we did that by together we built. And that was the method that we used, that God told us to use to get the money to start up the building process. So I'm not going any further. Again, we will do the history at another time. But we had groundbreaking for this sanctuary in 1994. One year later, we were holding our first service right here in this sanctuary. So God was really working on our behalf. The other thing we did is we had another decision. We were going to do the parking lot. And then I'm going to turn this over to Dr. Quirles because it was her mission. And she was determined to show us that we could do this with that Dr. Quirles. Thank you, thank you. I am so godly proud to be able to stand before you today and say that we have paid the church off. We are a congregation without a mortgage. And Pastor said today the foundation has been laid. If you can't see that with the parking lot and with the mortgage being paid, there is a great move of God going on right now. And if you don't get out of the way and join forces, it's going to run you down. God is going to move. He has been moving. And he is demonstrating that by what we're celebrating here today. We can become members of a congregation that don't have a mortgage. If you have a mortgage, pay it off. If you have a mortgage, pay it off. You can't do it in one day. That's not what we demonstrated. But we demonstrated with perseverance and steadfastness. You too can bring your mortgage. Pay the mortgage early, pay extra, find the extra someplace. It's there. God wants us to be a people with debt, without debt. Amen. The word of God says, Oh, no man anything but to love. And I know it says that because I looked it up this morning. God does not want us to be a people in debt. Being debt free is free. And so I say to you today, God bless you, whether you gave, whether you prayed, some, some planted, some water, but it's God yes. 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 We, can't, we can't take credit for that. All we can take credit for is what God allowed us to do. And so I thank you today for everything that you did. I just got up a couple of times and encouraged you. That's all I did. But you did the work. And I praise God for what you did. <laughs> Help me sing. Great is thy faithfulness, O God our Father. There is no shadow of turning with thee. Lord, I'm too. 
faithfulness, great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. He's been faithful. Lord, help us to be. I just want to thank everyone for coming out today. It's been a great day. We celebrated the parking lot and now we celebrate the burning of the mortgage. My testimony is this. I became a member here in 1991 and I've seen God do great and mighty things. Amen. And he will continue to do that if we remain faithful. At this time, we will now get ready to burn the mortgage. So I turn it over. Get out from under the tent, please. Pastor Frost, you checking this out? Pastor Frost, we would like you to come out and hold. Put it in your pocket. <laughs> Church paid up. Hold the flame down. Yeah. Walk through the fire. Yeah. Down. Yeah. Down. Yeah.
Thank you, Jesus. Let's um, 
don't know if you feel you can join hands, but locked arms or something. I don't think the balloon release is going to work. Donations go to the Elder Robert Hughes Foundation. Are you ready for the donations? So, uh, so let's either join hands or lock arms in some way. Um, just demonstrate a um, symbol of unity. Together. God, our Father, we read in your word that um, Jesus said, Upon this rock will I build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail. God, we know you weren't building um, in addresses and locations. The church is the people standing under the, the awning there, under this tent. We are the church. And thank you for the physical manifestation of that. Uh, the building helps us to just remember our oneness, our body. Uh, but God, help us to now look beyond this building, uh, knowing that it's going to burn, it's going to deteriorate, just like our bodies. But we have a building of God not made with hands, eternal in heaven. When this we groan, earnestly desiring, we close upon with our house, which is from heaven. So thank you, God, for your grace. Thank you for all the giving that was done. And God, we believe the best is yet to come for this gathering of believers. We trust that by your Holy Spirit, you keep them encouraged, bless this pastor, bless this leadership. Uh, every member, God, I pray that uh, they will function together as one. One body moving through the city, dear God, so that the world might know Jesus lives. You said... By this shall all men know you are my disciples, if you have love one for another. So as he said earlier in the message, God, we disagree. I pray that all of us will have a mentality of servanthood and that we will serve the one and only God of the universe, Jesus Christ. Now unto the King eternal, immortal, invisible, the only wise God, the honor and glory forever and ever. Let us all say amen. Amen.